Hello and welcome to another What's Inside on Roll for Sanity. This is Fort Hendricks, a campaign expansion for Zombie Side 2nd Edition from Cool Mini or Not in 2020. You do need the core Zombie Side 2nd Edition box set to make the most out of this game. So let's see what we've got here. It is for 1 to 6 players, ages 14 and up, it takes about an hour. Inside we're going to see 13 minis, 6 survivors, 1 companion, 6 shooter walkers, 97 equipment cards, 40 zombie cards, 6 survivor ID cards, 91 objective cards, 6 double sided game tiles, 6 all out dice, 7 tokens, and 1 campaign sheet pad. Says age to age, ages 14 and up. So let's take a look at what is inside this box. Here's our campaign book. Ooh, that's pretty thick. It's got pictures of everything in there. Clock, light beams, notepad, cards, companion, zombies. Real nice color to it. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Oh, it's a little crumpled on the back there. Wow, that's not cool. Not cool, man. Not cool. That's not cool, Benny or not. So, got a little crinkled in the box there. But yeah, it's 35 pages, 36 with this game round summary on the back. That's pretty sweet. I'm a little annoyed that it was crinkled, but here's our game tiles. And then all the other little stuff notes this kind of got jostled around it looks like uh it's not quite secure let's got a little divots for everything that's where the spinner is going to go all right we'll take a look at this stuff in a minute let's take a look at our tiles first and see what the tile pack looks like all right let's take a look at these and see what we've got sorry about the background noise if you can hear that there's one of my idiot neighbors He's mowing his lawn Alright, so here we have our spinner and our flashlights. We've got six of the flashlight beams. You only get one spinner, so make sure both parts are there if you're picking this up used. There's the night rules synopsis thing on the back, which is really handy actually. So that's those. And then tiles we've got here, we've got Uh, number 16R. And 16V. Then we've got 17R. Seventeen V. Eighteen R and eighteen V. Nineteen R and nineteen V. Twenty R twenty B and twenty one R and 
121V. Wow, that's... Okay, that's scary looking, isn't it? Alright, the imagery is really, really good. Uh, this one I didn't expect. Uh, that's an interesting tile to add. But the cardstock thickness is generally the same as the others. Really nice. Uh, this is a little banged up, though, in the corners here. That's how I opened it. So it's a little scrunched up. So I don't care for that too much. But overall, the tiles are pretty standardized. Zombie side tiles are really nice. It looks like they got a bit banged up somewhere along the line, though. Because a couple of the tiles have little notches in the corners. And they shouldn't get that from being in the, the box itself. So that happened somewhere along the processing line. And this one has a little bit of a crinkle on it. I don't like that. Because it looks like that happened somewhere in the printing process. And you can see the whole tile's got little nicks and stuff on it. Just along the edges. And they all, they've all got that. But it's not as bad as it could have been, so I'm not real upset. But let's take a look at the other components and see what they look like. All right, first things first, here's the campaign sheet. This pad has, I don't know, maybe 50 pages in it, tops. They're one-sided, so they're also really, really thin and poorly glued together. So that is kind of disappointing, but if you plan on playing this a lot more, you'll probably want to, you know, uh, see if you could get some extras somehow, legally, of course. There's also two pieces here to hold the spinner together. You want to make sure that if the spinner is assembled, then it's not a big deal. But if it's not, you want to make sure both of these parts are there because they interlock. And there's also zombie side dice. Unlike the box set, these actually look more like the old zombie side dice. And there's the one. Then the two and three. There's the five, six. The four is across from the three. So two is across from five. Four is across from three. Six is across from the little explosion thing. So there's six dice like this, and there's this sort of burgundy reddish color. I guess it's supposed to look like dried blood or something. I don't know. So there's those. Now there are these note packs that are in here. These probably contain spoilers, so I'm going to do those last. So if you want to avoid spoilers, I'll give you a heads up before we get to those. So uh, let's look at the miniatures, then the cards. Okay, so we've got two zombie sculpts. These are zombie soldiers. They do shoot, so be aware of that if you're going to go up against these guys. And the sculpts are 57 and 158. And there are three of each one. So first up we've got this guy. And then we've got this guy. Now they did make soldier ones that are separate from this box set. They don't come with cards. I actually filmed that episode before this one, but it'll probably be posted afterward. So if you want extra soldiers, zombies, then the, just the six that this comes with, you can get acquire them that way through a, a special pack. And I believe it's just called Zombie Soldiers. Yeah, the Zombie Soldiers pack. And it's got six of them in there, same sculpts, just more of them. No cards in this though. Alright, back to these. Here's one of our survivors. I'll lay all the survivors out and then hold them up individually. So there's our six survivors. We have this 51 look at her first because she was first in the box and 
Then we have number 50. Next up is number 52. I like that sculpt, that's really good. 54. He's cool looking too. Yeah, that one would look really cool painted up. And 55, another cool one. I like 54 a little bit better, but this guy looks pretty badass too. And then we have our companion. This is Penny the Biologist. It's a little too skin toned. And she's obviously an important part of the campaign. You'll want to probably keep her alive. But the minis look really, really good. I'm actually really impressed. These look a little bit better, in my opinion, than some of the others. All right, let's take a look at our survivor cards so we know who these people are and why we should care about them. This is in a resealable pouch. That's kind of a nice touch. All right, first up, we've got Javier. All of these people are going to be pretty badass. So, pretty cool. The art is really solid on these as well. There's Carl. Carl looks awesome. And then we've got Marion. We've got Michelle. We've got Riley. And finally, Wayne. I think I'd want to play Javier because his mini looks coolest. He's got some pretty awesome stats. Alright, so that's the new characters, the survivors for this one. And they're on the standard size cards so you can play them in the regular game too. Although that might be a little broken, I'm not sure. I haven't played this yet, obviously. Because this is a campaign. So let's take a look at our cards. We'll start with... Uh, these and see how they look it looks like there might be some blue equipment cards mixed in the stack so we'll find out here in a second Alright, yeah, we've got some equipment cards in here too, so put those aside and look at those next. But first we're going to look at these. So I don't know if these contain any spoilers for this, so here's your spoiler alert number one for these cards. If these contain spoilers, you've been warned. Look away now if you're going to plan on playing this and you don't want any spoilers. So that's the best warning I can give you. So we have a tactical tomahawk. Second one. 
third one oh that's a tactical halligan so we've got two tactical tomahawks and tactical halligan two of those six sour p320 second one third one fourth one so four of those we have a repair kit Second one, third one, fourth one, fifth one, sixth repair kit, plenty of shells. Second one, so there's two of those, plenty of bullets, two night vision goggles. Second one, those are probably going to come in real handy in this game. And then we've got a Mossberg 500. Second one. Machete. Second machete. Two machetes. MRE. Second of those. Uh, K-Bar. Two. Three. Four, four K bars, H and K MP7. Two of those, H and K MP5. Second one, third one, fourth one. Four of those, and we've got a flashlight. Second flashlight. Two flashlights. Colt M4 carbine. Four of those. Then we have the Colt M16A4. Two. Two of those. AN M14 incendiary grenade. Second one, third one, four of those. Then we've got an ah and an ah. All right, that was the military equipment deck, I guess. So let's get those out of the way. And take a look at the rest of that pack. And these are blue equipment cards, the normal look. None of these are numbered, which is a little frustrating at times if you accidentally mix these in with the other sets. So be aware of that. We have a water. Water. Sniper rifle. Sniper rifle, so two of each of those. Sawed off. Second sawed off. Third one. Fourth. So four sawed offs. And we got a pistol. Maltov, Maltov, third Maltov, fourth one, machete, two machetes, Kukri, second, then we've got a katana, and another katana. We do have more blue cards, so there may be a few more mixed in there, so it looks like there's a couple. So let's take a look at this other stack. Of cards and see what's in here. All right, so we've got some more blue cards and then some red cards and some gray cards and then our activation deck. So we'll take a look at all these in that order. So the rest of the blue cards first. We've got another flashlight. Second flashlight. Fire axe. Chainsaw. Emergency vehicles making all kinds of noise in the background. Hopefully everybody's okay. But I'm trying to film. Second chainsaw. Canned food. Another canned food. An og. Second og. Third one. And a fourth one. 
All right, that could be unfortunate. Now let's look at our red cards. See what we've got here. First up, we have the Wrist Breaker. Followed by the Siege Hammer. Then the Prototype Assault Shotgun. It's pretty cool. Prized Katana. Patton's 45 Long Colt. Patton's 357 Magnum. The Golden Kukri. The Golden AK-47. Army Sniper Rifle. An AG. And an ah! So two AH cards, everything else is unique. Alright, let's look at our starter cards here. And we have a rifle. Another rifle. Pistol. K bar. Fire axe. And a crowbar. Pretty cool. Let's look at our activation cards. See what we've got in here. First up we have extra activation. These are numbered. This is card number 80. And it goes down to number 41. From the look of it. So extra activation. Different image. Uh, this time it's all fatties. Extra activation, all walkers. Another extra activation, all walkers. Abomination. Abomination. So two abominations. Then we've got runners. 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 Then we've got fatty rush. Fatty Rush, Fatties, Fatties, Walker Rush, Walker Rush, Walker Rush, Walker Rush, Walkers, 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 Abomination, Abomination, runners, 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 fatty rush, fatty rush, fatties, fatties, walker rush, walker rush, walker rush, walker rush. Walkers, 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 and finally another walkers. Now, of course, the numbers are different on most of the cards, so you want to be aware of that. If you're missing one of these, that was in descending order from card number 80 to 41. So, yeah, pretty sketchy looking stuff here. Uh, this is going to get ugly pretty badly. So, Next we'll do the notes and see if uh, there's any spoilers in here because I'm sure there is. But I'm going to give you a heads up because there are different versions of note 1 and 2 from the look of it. They have different code numbers at the top. But I'm just going to flip through those real quick and see what the quality of the card looks like. But I don't want to give any spoilers for people that don't want them. So this is your spoiler alert for the notes. We are going to look at those next, and this is probably going to affect uh, what you know about the game so far. And um, just to be aware, there may be spoilers in these, and I don't want to give anyone no warning. So this is your warning to end the video now before we get into this, and that's your warning.
Okay, there are 10 packs of notes, and they're all different. So even though they say note one on them, they are actually different. The, this is FH for Fort Hendricks M2. And then we have M1, which is note two. And then another note one, which is M3, M4, M5, M6, M7, M8, M9, and M10. And I'm assuming the M is for mission number. So each of these packs represents a different mission from the look of it. And we're just going to kind of flip through them to see the quality of the art and paper quality, that sort of thing. So we'll start with mission one, which is note two. You've had your spoiler alert, so if you're still with me at this point, this is on you. And don't ruin the game for yourself if you don't want to, or if you're going to be playing this with other people. That would kind of take the fun out of it. Alright, inside of mission one, we have two, four, six, eight cards. And what is with the emergency crews today? There must be a big accident nearby or something. So there's that side. I'm not going to read these because I don't want to... If you want to spoil it for yourself, that's fine. I don't want to spoil it for me. So I'm not reading the, those cards. I'm just We're going to look at one side and the other to get an idea of the quality. So we had notes 2, then 1, and then number 9 here. Number 7. Number six. Number three. Number two. Finally, number one. All right, that's the first pack. Let's get those out of the way. And look at Mission number two. We have note one. A lot of flavor text on that one. There are two, four, six, seven cards in this whole thing. So that's the first card. Then we have number 20. Number two, and number one, Number 17. A lot of flavor text on these. Number 18.
And finally, number 19. I think my complaint so far is going to be that the imagery on the front of the card here, where the text is, is kind of boring because it's the exact same as the back. And they could have jazzed it up a little bit with some new art. It's just kind of feels a little recycled. So that's number two. Get those out of the way. And look at number three. All right, we start out with note one. Then we've got number 17. Then number 19. Number 21, number 18, number 9, Final one of mission three is number four here. And that is all of mission three. Let's take a look at mission four. This one has a lot more cards. We've got two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven cards. So we've got note three. Note two. Note one. And number twenty. Seventeen. Sixteen. Number five. Number three. Number two. And number one. And 
and that is it for mission four. So let's get these cards out of the way and get on to mission five. Card quality is really nice, but the imagery could use some work. It seems to be pretty consistently uh, mediocre. Oh, this, these cards are slightly curled up a little on the ends. I don't like that. And mission five, note number two. Note one. Number 19. Number 17. Number 16. Nondescript crates, always suspicious. Might be an Ark of the Covenant in one of those. Number seven. Number four. Number six. Number two. And finally, number one. So 10 cards in this mission. Make sure you have all of those. And that means we're over half done with the missions. All right, mission number six. This one has two, four, 10 cards as well. We have note number two. Note number one. Then we have the crashed helicopter, which we'll find out if that's the same card as this pack here. Probably different though. We have number 19. Number 18. There's 17. Sixteen. Number three. Two. 
two. And finally, number one. Let's get those out of the way. Get on to the crashed helicopter stack. So let's see what we've got here. We've got card number 21. Uh, by the way, there are six cards in this stack. Number 20. Card seventeen. Card number nine. And finally, card number 16. So that is all of the ones in the crashed helicopter pack. Again, the cards look a little boring, but I'm sure the... Uh, Storyline makes up for it. All right, let's look at mission eight. This one's got quite a few cards. Let's see here, we've got eleven, eleven cards. So here's note two. Note one. We've got number 21 again, the helicopter wreck. And then notice this card is different. And then we've got card number 20. Card number 19. Piled up stuff. Nice and generic. Card number 18. Number 17. Ooh, the administrative office. That's where all the excitement happens. Number 16. Card number 9. Number 8. Number seven, something is locked here. And that's the last one for the stack. So we'll move on to mission number nine. Let's get these out of the way. Nine 
nine cards here. That was note one. Card number 17. Number 16. Number nine. Seven, that closet. That sounds accusatory, doesn't it? Number five, the makeshift shelter. That's the last place you'd want to be in a zombie crisis. A makeshift shelter. And number three, Piled crates. Number two, HQ door. And lastly, number one, HQ door. It is nice that they put the mission number on the back of each card. That's really helpful for sorting. That was mission 9. Let's take a look at the mission 10 cards. And this will be the last of what we have for the box. So we've got note number 4. There are 12 cards in this pack. Here's note number three. Number two. Number one. We have card number 21, Wrecked Military Crates. Then number 19, Troll Room. Number 18, Guard House. Number 20, Wrecked Military Crates. Number 16, Wrecked Military Crates again. Then we have number 4, We Dare You to Take This Card. Number three is the entertainment area. Number two is the last card, the messed up infirmary. And that is the last of the cards. They are consistent with the design and the little blood splotches and all that. But unfortunately, I think most of the cards are kind of boring to look at. So the art is kind of recycled quite a bit for these mission cards. But I'm sure the game is fine. 
So that is what is inside the Fort Hendrix campaign expansion for Zombie Side Second Edition from Cool Mini or Not and Guillotine Games. The minis are fantastic. Both the survivors and the soldier ones look great. The uh, cards look pretty good quality. The mission cards look a little on the low end side for what I expect from Cool Mini or Not. But they are nice. They are still above average. But they did look like, at least with the mission cards, they had a little bit of uh, edge wear damage from the printing. It's probably because they printed so few of them. But th that's because this is a smaller sale thing than the regular core box. But the regular zombie cards, activation cards, equipment, that sort of thing, those were all fine. So overall, it's a really nice box. The box quality itself is really good. Great add on to zombie side and you can play it solo from the sound of it because it says one to six players on it that's really cool the night thing where the, you can get night vision gl goggles or walk around with flashlights that's going to be a really cool new feature for this so that's definitely going to be something to look forward to i think it looks really fun and i'm excited to play it could be really really cool but we'll see how it goes I think this is a good add-on, especially if you want to do longer campaigns where your characters can get better and better, that sort of thing. This is definitely going to be for you. The Washington ZC campaign expansion looks like it's a lot of fun as well. We'll look at that in a different video. But this is absolutely going to be a blast to play and a great addition to the Zombie Side universe. So I would absolutely recommend this, just on the quality of it. And I'm sure the campaign itself is fine. I haven't played it yet, obviously, because I just opened this. But I'm sure it's fine. It, cool Mini or Not does a pretty good job with their missions, so I'm sure this will be just as fun. So we've seen what's in the box. You've heard my take on it. That's going to do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching and supporting the channel. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss future unboxings and reviews. If you'd like to help the channel out in other ways, share the video around on your social media or buy yourself something nice from the Teespring store. If you'd like to support me in different ways, I have a Patreon, which is linked below, just like the other things. And uh, I have a Streamlabs as well, which accepts PayPal for a one-time donation. Like I said, those links are in the description. And as always, we hope to see you on the next one.